Hi there. I'm going to take you through a Stop Pilates Reformer workout using the Fitness Circle Resistance Ring to challenge Carla and Sam. Let's get started. We're going to set up the reformers for your footwork. So whatever position you're in for the footwork and get hold of the fitness circle, lying on your backs, and legs are hip distance apart, just holding on to the circle. We're going to start by just warming up through that whole shoulder girdle. So nice neutral position, feet are flexed, that's it. And just bilateral. So you just want to reach up to the ceiling and feel the scapula, the shoulder blades just riding around the rib cage and releasing down. And we want to mobilize through there first because if the upper mid back is tight, then that restricts us with a lot of the movement that we're going to be doing. And now when you go up on the way down, just apply a little bit of resistance just waking up through that whole shoulder girdle. Now, let's just do one arm. So reach it up, glide it up, and release down. So unilateral, that is the beginning of our spinal rotation. So we're just going to allow that scapula to reach. And now on the way down again, let's apply a little pressure, keeping the elbows a little bit flexed so you're not locking into them. That's it, just about three times per side. That's it, good. Now we're gonna just speed that up a little bit and get a fluid movement because we wanna make sure that all our movements are smooth, in control. As soon as you start to get rigid or tight, then you can start to overwork certain areas that might not be very preferable <laughs> at that time. All right, now let's go into a little more rotation there with that movement. So we just reach one arm up. Yes, very nice, and release down, great. So now we're just focusing up through the thoracic area. You will still get movement in the spine all the way down, so don't try to lock anywhere, but just nice and simple, glide it. Now can you just keep it moving in that reciprocal movement, smooth, just waking up through that whole shoulder girdle, that's it, and spine. Yes, great, Sam. Okay, <laughs> now elevation, because we want to mobilize also through every range of the shoulder girdle. So move about two inches away from your shoulder rest there. And just reach the arms up about 45 degrees here. Nice, good. And now just reach as if you're reaching for something and then slide it back down. Very nice, because we also need to mobilize into that elevation. When we reach for things, it's really important that the scapula moves with the arm and it doesn't get locked into place and put pressure into the rotator cuff. Yes, that's really nice. And one more, that's it. Now bring the circle back down and place your hands on the inside of it. We're going to do a spinal rotation and just use the circle as, oh, as a counter balance against the rotation. So to take the legs into tabletop, that's it. And imprint the spine, okay? Not jamming it down, but just really get a connection through the obliques there. And then we're just going to rotate the legs to one side and so that's it. Sam's pulling against the circle on this side and then pushing, and that also is getting a nice length through the back. And then onto the other side, that's great. And reach, and how are you doing, Carlo? <laughs> that's it, and pull it back, good. And just flex the elbows a little more in between, yes, and then reach. So that's a really nice counter movement, yes. Good, and then really make sure that you're using the abdominals, connect through the core to bring the hips back and the spine back to center. Yes, very good. All right, now let's do some footwork. So toes apart and heels together on the bar, not too high, that's it, and the knees just a little wider than the shoulders. And you wanna make sure before you start that you're in a really good, and let's just say neutral position. So if we can just show that, so that you're not jammed down into the mat, right? Or overextended. <laughs> you do that so well. <laughs> and just release that, that's it, good. All right, so we're gonna start, and we're gonna use the circle just to connect that upper body and the chain all the way down through the uh, torso to the feet. So as you press out, just slight pressure into that circle. Press out all the way and then bring it back in. 
good. And press out, little squeeze, and pull it back in. Nice, and really smooth. So you're taking the springs out and in. You press and then resist them in smoothly. That's it, we wanna keep, it's like a dance, keep the, the rhythm. As soon as it gets a little rigid, you could start to jar things and we really wanna keep everything moving in sync. Good, and 10 times we must be at about eight. I haven't been counting, <laughs> let's do two more. That's it, and reach. Okay, now let's wrap the toes. So with this position here, you don't wanna be straining or clenching the toes. Just get into a nice position where they're lengthened over the bar and keep the heels in that one position, all right? And this time, we're gonna start with the elbows flexed, extend the knees, and as you go out, you just rotate the circle and then bring it back in and then now rotate it to the other side. So in doing this now, we're actually warming up the whole shoulder girdle area and mobilizing it. That's it. Good, nice, and reach. Yes, and reach. And smooth, nice. Let's do two more. Reach, last time. Yes, nice now. You've made it, we've done it. Good guys, all right. <laughs> Thanks for joining us.